I'm Nikita Chow. So my Chinese name is Zhou Xiaowenxing. I chose the English name for others to you know, easily remember me. <laughs> I'm from China. Uh, I've been here almost two years now. When I first decided to be here, it was uh, well, complex reasons. Um, I've been working for almost eight years when I was decide when I decided to come here, but um, I was not sure like um, the future, what I'm gonna be, what I want to achieve. I used to work for a private equity company, and I was in charge of uh, three departments in that uh, company: uh, finance, HR, and administration. So I took a huge responsibility and I didn't really have a life when I was working. I really worked very hard, but I do feel I need some systematic learning way. Of course, there are so many MBA um, courses in the world, but I really love it to be Sweden because I think this is the best country for women and children. So I would like to uh, experience something totally different from the Chinese culture, Chinese business environment. Uh, I traveled here. Then I met some friends, Swedish. So I started to talk to them. Like, if I want to move here, uh, what should I do? Where should I start from? And then some friends told me, then you have to go to SSE. Here, it's, it's the best uh, school in Sweden, so everyone could, could recognize it. I was like, okay, maybe I should start from there. That's how I started to um, apply. I made my decision to apply for SSE. In China, it's like for, career, for business women, we kind of have to choose career or family but uh, I don't want to choose, I want to have both. So the thing that amazed me um, in the first five minutes when I talked to my classmates, I was very curious because they are very um, competitive and they are big people from all over the industry. So I keep asking the uh, same question, like, well, how can you do this? You are a, a manager, you have a family, you have two, three, five kids. How can you make time to do this? I mean, ask for this uh, women classmates I had, female. And they all told me because I have a husband. That was really surprised me. What does it mean? I have a husband. That means another uh, responsibility. <laughs> yeah, but they made it. Then I thought, okay, this is the right place to be. Yeah, I made my life uh, decision before I made the uh, decision to apply for SSE. In the six months, I was super stressed because I've never lived abroad. I mean, my English was okay, I can communicate, but I mean, this is different level. Like it's master English. So in the beginning, I had no idea like what's, um, we call it Western word is the norms, um, how people uh, work together, and uh, uh, how they learn things. So everything was very new to me. In the six months, first six months, I was super stressful. And I think I have to work twice as my classmates because everything was very new to me. And then we went to uh, America, we went to Riga. Um, everything was like, I think, again, a lot beyond uh, I can expect it. That's a short conclusion. <laughs> and I was, uh, I'm really appreciated to meet those people because I think from now I can see I've improved a lot and uh, I'm ready to uh, put my knowledge into practice. 
it opens a new world to me and gives me the basic knowledge how to work with tweets. And that's very important. Personally, I think my, I changed my personality a, a bit as well. Because uh, in China, everything is very fast. Like you have to learn fast and um, work in work life, everything is fast. D delivery, food, uh, anything you can imagine is very fast. But here, I think I learned to be how to be patient. That's one thing that everyone can recognize from my Chinese friends or friends I met here. So I, I think, um, how, do, how do you say this? I feel more powerful inside of me because I can handle different things now. And another thing is, uh, in China, we are very hierarchical. Like, you know, no matter when like people get together, um, there's one person make calls. Especially here in Sweden, we uh, have to work in different groups, right? And uh, normally in China, uh, we would have uh, one person to make calls. Like, what should we do? And this and that. We're going to follow this leader. But here's very amazing. The leadership is totally something new that I've never experienced. I don't know what to do with them because it seems no one was jump out saying, OK, now we're going to do this and we're going to follow the path and blah, 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 blah. Everything's very clear. No, it was nothing was clear to me. And people just uh, give um, their ideas and they talk and somehow we make it and still today I don't know how does it work and and in the beginning I was very confused and I talked to my coach we have this uh, uh, personal coach uh, assigned to us I talked uh, with her about this topic a lot I feel confused how how should I perform in a team and then I learned there is a new way like to work in groups not necessarily like you don't really need a le leader leader to lead the group. Everyone can be a leader. And the more you you talk, maybe the idea, the better. That's one thing I've learned. And uh, the way uh, Swedish teaching, learning different is different as well. In China, it's like teachers um, responsibility to make students learn. Yeah, so when I just got here, I was expecting that. I paid to the school, and I think that's your responsibility to make me learn. But <laughs> it's not like that. <laughs> yeah, that's something yeah frustrated me as well. They just give you that assignment and you like to do it or not, that's, that's your choice. <laughs> I want to do an uh, executive MBA already because I've been being a manager for, uh, for, for some, well, uh, some time. So I don't want just the knowledge from the book. I want some hands-on knowledge as well so I can relate it to. And it's easier to uh, use a, a language, uh, no, use a knowledge after the program as well. And one thing is you can, uh, I want to meet um, wonderful people. I, I didn't say it, that other program doesn't have wonderful people, but I feel like in this program, I can meet the people I need, I want. Yeah, they are very uh, important to me, to me now, to me before, and to to my future as well. Now we can exchange um, different informations and we can make friends. That's important too. I mean, if I choose an MBA, maybe I might meet a lot of 20-ish students. Uh, that's not what I need. No. Yeah, so network. 
I love the professor from finance and accounting very much. I mean, I used to uh, in charge of those departments, but I haven't learned very hard. <laughs> I wasn't a good, a very good student. So teacher really matters to me. I mean, those teachers from finance and accounting are amazing. I think they're the best. I'm still a little bit Chinese students way. So if the teacher is not so good, I may not have uh, learned uh, so well, but they really gave me um, a lot of tools, I would say, systematically. And yes, you mentioned sustainability. That's one thing that's uh, new to my world as well. Uh, we, we didn't have this subject in China. I don't think we have this subject in China. Uh, Chinese uh, EMBA courses, but uh, I after that uh, sustainability course, I've started to think a lot like sustainability. F first, uh, I guess that's um, I put that um, perspective into consideration when I think of like what what do I want to do in the future. Or if I choose something, is that sustainable? That's something SSC gave me. Yeah. Apart from sustainability, this leadership coach um, helped me a lot as well. And I think it's gonna, uh, I'm gonna carry that knowledge or experience with me for a long time. Yeah, that's one thing that, um, you know, in China, we, when you have difficulties, you uh, often you talk to your friends or family, but they don't have like the professional knowledge to help you, like you, the tools. How do you see this and what could help you, what might help you? But here we have like this coach. Um, I think we met them um, four or five times during the whole program and you can talk to them like what you've been through and what's your personal um, learning challenges and your uh, plan in the future and they, they are really really professional and gave me a lot of good feedbacks and helped me to adapt myself in this context. Yeah, that's something as well. During the two years, actually, I've I've employed, I've been employed, but by the private equity company I was in China. So I was still employed by that company, but I didn't do like daily management work. That's a, uh, that's a condition. And um, now I'm uh, learning Swedish every day. Yeah, I really want to adapt myself in this context, in this society. And all my uh, classmates, my friends here, they suggest to me that language, of course, is very important, especially private equity. I've been talking to um, friends or companies, and um, most of them require um, Swedish. Yeah, so now I'm working on my Swedish. I'm still a student. I miss my classmates the most. And uh, yeah, because they are, like you said, um, they are the executives, they have full-time jobs, they have family. It's not very easy, you know, to drop everything and be together for five days learning journey. That was amazing. And uh, I miss to be a student. I like, I like to learn things. So I know, um, you know the excitement before this class starts. You know you are gonna learn something wonderful this week, and you are prepared, and you know you are gonna always go to school and learn something, and you have to read before, and you gain the knowledge, 
and you can feel like the, the achievement. Oh, I know something more. I learned something more. I miss that feeling as well. I would say uh, as this program designed for a, a fighter, like somebody uh, who doesn't give up easily and uh, uh, willing to learn, open-minded. Um, that's it. If you're willing to learn, then you definitely are gain something here and fight for it. That's going to be hard. <laughs> <laughs>